We're here at Renica's Lane. This is a six bed um, development. As a house, this end of the plot, and then down there you can see, at the back end of the garden, there's gonna be a building that's got a swim pool, sauna, steam room, gym, bar, and all the other stuff that you're gonna need. So quite a big development. A lot of people said it wouldn't happen, and it's just great to be here now where, you know, in the last week the roof's gone on, as you'll probably be able to see behind me now if the sun's not blind on the camera. I'm gonna live in this house, so I'm gonna be building it for myself and for mainly for my little girl, Olivia. So we've got, I don't know if you can see in the distance here, we've got a park, we've got a nice, although it's a little bit overgrown at the minute, uh, outdoor area. There's a nice couch set to go in the outdoor sitting area. And then we've got a big barbecue area in the middle. And then we've got the yurt that's got a cooking station in as well. Nice property with the pool down one end, the outdoor living space in the middle and then the nice house at the front. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump up, have a quick check on the site, make sure it's all nice and tidy, make sure everything's how we want it to be because we've got building control on site tomorrow. You know, naturally if they turn up and the site's a mess, they're gonna think that we're not doing the job properly and start looking to see if we've got corners, which of course we haven't. So where I'm standing now um, is the main entrance. This is gonna be a nice glass floor to ceiling, all in glass. And then as we walk in, we're gonna have a central staircase here going up to the two steel points that you can see there. Right hand side, we have a nice kitchen. So kitchen cupboards already planned coming along here. Nice big double fridge at the end. Worktops around this side, sink in the middle of the window looking out, and then a nice island coming off the wall here. The breakfast bar, me and Liv be able to have breakfast. We've then got bifolds on both sides. So this whole corner will be able to open up on the nice days and look out over the fabulous garden which you can't see at the minute because the containers are in the way and then this will be a nice little seating area here with a little wood burner in the corner and a, and a nice tv on the wall off the kitchen we have a utility room here which will be washing machines as we walk through this was the this is the only room of the original bungalow this was olivia's bedroom i think it's quite fitting that we keep her room because obviously this is what it's all for, it's for there. So this will end up being a nice little office for me. And this will be a downstairs loo in here. So we'll have a toilet, which is obviously where the pipes come from. Shower and toilet basically in here. Stud and wall going across. And then this is gonna be server room, comms room, and all for the smart home. So obviously we can just say, open the gates and they'll open or turn the outside lights on and they'll just come on. We then walk into what is a living room. The size of this room, it's absolutely huge. So it's gonna be a nice big lounge. There's gonna be a couple of TVs in this room for, for different reasons, but I'm a massive F1 fan. And there's a few different screens that you can have for the F1. So I'm just kitting this house out to be exactly what personally I want it for. We've then got a nice little feature in this room, which is the fireplace. So as you can see, as we go under, it's a double-sided fireplace, which goes into the next room which is the dining room. So we're back in the main hall now and we walk into this room, which is the dining room. Again, it's a nice big long room, as you can see from there. Uh, again, the double-sided fireplace, but obviously there's no chimney breast on this side because we haven't got the same width as we have in that room. There's gonna be a nice 12-seater table coming down the middle. And this room, two windows, so we can keep it nice and bright. One on this side and obviously one on this side. And this is just gonna be for Sunday lunch, to be honest. Getting people around and having a nice time. That's what it's all for. Pictures all over the wall. I've never lived in a home. I know that sounds like a little bit of a get your violin out moment, but I've personally never lived in a house that has been my home. They've always been houses that I bought to do up or houses that I bought as a rental. Yet I've never had, you know, the pictures on the wall. I've never had it exactly how I want it. It's always been with built, built or designed or developed in a way where it's to sell on, what's best to sell on or what's best to rent out. So this one is gonna be purely mine. So let's jump up on the scaffold and then have a little tour of the upstairs. See how we get on there. So here we are now, just got up on the scaffold. So we're right on the front corner of the house. We've obviously got the gate uh, just there. And obviously, so we're right on this front corner. So as you can start seeing now, the roof's in, all the roof trusses are in, all the way around, they're all braced. 
they're all done and they're all ready for inspection tomorrow by building control. So as we walk, walk along the scaffold, if we come to basically what's going to be like the porch area, the, the main entrance. So you can just see here the steel sticking up either side. There's another one there as well. Ready for the, the glass to go in. So we'll duck under and try and make it as if we've just come up the stairs, which obviously is hard because we're a little bit higher up than the floor. We're about four foot up than what we should be. So this is the master bedroom. We have a um, walk-in wardrobe to the left, which I'll show you in a minute around the corner. Some nice features in this room are on this left-hand side, that's a nice big floor to ceiling window. And then this side, don't know if you can just see at the end of the planks there towards the steel. That's a balcony where we can go on, but obviously the roof goes over the balcony because of the nice British weather. It'll be nice to sit out and look down the garden and enjoy the view and not get rained on. And then just around this corner, if you can see, that will be an ensuite there. So there's, although it's a little bit bricked up because I changed the plans last minute, the walk-in wardrobe is gonna go. So if we just crouch it along here and get to here, the walk-in wardrobe will be in there, designed with a nice big window again as much natural light and then as we go through here you'll have a corridor going through the middle running past the chimney breast and there's going to be four bedrooms in this space two on this side and then two on this side again the plans show that there's four bedrooms but in reality i'm going to have not sure how we do it yet but ideally olivia's going to have one big bedroom and her own big walk-in wardrobe she's daddy's little princess i bang on about everything i do is essentially for her you know, and I'm looking at, you know, we're going to be staying here. I'm not going to be moving out. So, yeah, I want a nice big walk-in wardrobe. As you can see from the trusses, there's quite a few big gaps like this one along here. So, there for the Velux windows all the way along. So, there's 12 Velux windows in total. The biggest one that they do, again, natural light, as you can see just in this room here. There's, there's two gaps for Velux just in this one room. So, we want as much natural light. I want it to be nice and bright. The site is immaculate. To be fair to the lads, they've really um, tidied up. There's not much muck anywhere. And at this stage, when you've got brickies slopping all the cement everywhere, you do tend to get a bit of mess. So it's absolutely spot on. I'm just looking around. Things that the building control's probably going to check are things like these. Checking that they're screwed all the way down. Check that we're not cutting corners and just throwing one, one fixing in and hoping it's going to last. They've already checked. And um, we'll check again the likes of the foam in the in the cavities. It's better to see on this side, but you can see the red. Let me see if the camera can get on it. The red foam clips. Check that it's done properly, which you need to do because there is quite a few cowboy builders out there, as I've come across when I've bought other properties in the past. So that is pretty much uh, a very well done for the lads, and we are ready for building control. Can't wait, it's gonna be exciting. So I'm gonna sign out, peace out, enjoy the day. Catch you soon.